I made it my mission like, to, to go to the league. Henderson, two hands for safety. That's the main goal. And, uh, you know, my, my people around me, they help me. Nah, I'm with it, for sure. I, I got a lot to learn. I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> I, got some, uh, I got some stuff to share, so we gotta get the we gotta make that happen. Nah, I bet that. Alright. Showtime. <laughs> I don't want to be sugar-coated because I know that pro level, they're going to be real with you. I didn't really want to go to college. I just didn't see myself, you know, fit into a program that had a guard the, the past year and, you know, building a team around him. I wanted to go somewhere where I could develop as a person. They told me in, in there, in that room, one of my AU coaches came up here and I'm like, bro, what do, you, what do y'all want? Like, I just got done with a workout, tired, fed to go to sleep. So I like, came up there and they just told me like, Ignite, they, gave, they want to give you an opportunity. It's time to like show what you've been working on. Like that was my immediate reaction. Like I'm like, I gotta really dominate. The rising stars game. Like, I can just feel it. I mean, especially like being on the stage and getting my name called. Like, that was a crazy feeling. I don't think like nothing ever beat that feeling. I was lucky the night before. I was, I don't think I was nervous. I was just like, I didn't want to miss a beat like, at all. But, you know, it looked like I belonged there. And, uh, and not being scared of the moment, not being scared of the big lights. You know, I want to play and shit like that all the time. I the stands packed out. So I just like dreamed of myself. Like being there, the life was all on the court. Family was there, loud as heck, as per use. I just wanted to make a make a name for myself. I like when it's a big crowd. I love big crowds. That's why I can't wait to like league. It's like crowd every game. I always try to be loud, like screaming, so like whoever outside of the arena can hear me. Cause I know it's gonna be dumb loud when I get in the league. I was, I was pretty young, but I can remember it. Like before we moved over this way, we would really be on like uh, like a blacktop in one of my old neighborhoods. Uh, we would just be out there till OD late, like real late. My parents, they would, they would put turn the light on, turn the car lights on if we were outside, turn the car towards the hoop. And just seeing that now, like, I know like the sacrifices they made for us to do what we like had fun doing. That just make me happy. I feel like we take everything as a family, really. Like, we have a close bond. Like, well, all of us do, really. Like, we're all close to each other from First one, last one. My dad, he's a genius though. That's that's how I see it. And plenty of nights where I'm like, where I go upstairs and he's in this little like coach's book and he's just writing stuff down or just watching like videos and or, like film and stuff. And then my mom, she just keeps us together. You know, she always says, if you want a group of people, make sure you're always the leader of it. Whether you're doing some bad stuff or you're doing something good, like make sure you the head of it. Make sure you orchestrating it. Don't be a follower. I think I get the the drive, like, from both of them. I made my mind up really early. Like, I wanted to go pro. So I was gonna make it happen regardless. Uh, I, I don't think I ever needed 
any motivation from the outside. I'm self motivated. You know, going to watch Kobe, he didn't even need anybody to, you know, encourage him to go work out or encourage him to go get what he wanted to achieve. There's been plenty of times where I questioned myself when I was younger. It took a lot of sacrifices to just go there at 17. Uh, in the beginning with nobody. It was, I was going through like a little slump in the season, in the middle of the season. I'm like, damn bro, they good. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Like, like I wanna give back to my family, but the league, that's looking tough right now. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna keep growing, or I don't know if I'm skilled enough yet, or I don't know if I'm smart enough. I was just in my room, in my hotel room by myself. Just broke down really, and uh, and I was thinking to myself, this is hard. My dad always taught me that, like, this is stay confident no matter what. So I just kept telling myself that, and, and I was good after that. But I was just, I was really thinking about, like, the greats, or, like, people in the league, like, plays I'm gonna have to play. Like, that was my whole mindset that whole time. Like, nobody care. If you 17, nobody can be young and graduated high school early. Like, like, I knew where I wanted to go. I knew who I was, who I wanted to play against. I want to play against like Steph Curry, guys like that. So they're not gonna care if I'm 18 going to the G League. Hell, nobody care. So I'm, I'm ready to grind. You gotta be kind of crazy. Uh, not crazy, but you gotta be kind of like extra edgy. To, uh, to be great. Oh yeah, I got. I'm almost there. I can just feel it. Vegas, you come out to the Bay or something, we gotta, we gotta link up and get, get some work in. No, I'm with it, for sure. I, I got a lot to learn. I'm, I'm ready. All day. I need some of that, I need some of that youthful energy. I got, <laughs> some, uh, I got some stuff to share, so we gotta get, we gotta make that happen. Nah, I bet that. Alright. Uh, I'll be around. Y'all wanna hit me back with your sister, but uh, if not, I'll holler at you. Stay in touch. It's my, it's my cell, so just let me know if you need anything along the way. I know uh, we've been talking to the fam and to everybody, but uh, for sure. I appreciate you, man. For real. All right, baby. All right. All right. Uh, hotel <laughs> <laughs> What? We going to the Bay. We ain't going to Vegas. <laughs> I'm going right with you. What? We not doing that. Call who? I've been doing Moochie's going to faint. Yeah, we, we didn't want to do it too close to game time. We got to pull up on her right now. Yeah. Okay, let's call Kendra. Yeah. Whoa. Who'd you who'd like who'd I said, yo. Going, I literally nah, that's, why I face like, yo. that's why I was like, you got to FaceTime. Right uh, yeah, right here. Perfect. What happened? Steph Curry. <laughs> You're not gonna be successful on your on your own, and you're always gonna need you know people to to depend on sometimes, or people to almost fall back on. And I feel like I have that in my family, but uh, you know basketball just taught me like brotherhood and, and the family. And if you stick together, nobody could could defeat you.
I can play any sport, in my opinion. I think it's just a lot of it is work. Like if I didn't work on the things I used to work on, uh, I wouldn't be where I am now at all. Like if I just tried to depend on talent and instead of coming into the gym two, two times a day after practice, uh, I don't think I'd be where I am right now. I don't know. I've always wanted an AU team, just from my dad having one. You know, him being so involved in it. My respect for the way, like, they work. Like, I watched it firsthand, so I know they have to put in the work twice as hard, 10 times as hard. Well, welcome to Team Scoop, and C, for the ladies. Uh, I'm just happy to have y'all here, man, and I'm glad y'all ready to work. I want to have, like I said, one of the top teams to where they know that I'm at least helping in some way, and uh, I think I want to change, like, how, how the basketball here is here in uh, Marietta or in the area, and I wanted to go up. <laughs> Pretty sure y'all know, but ODD means overly determined to dominate, and that's throughout the day. It's not just basketball, but it's throughout the day, how you carry yourself and how you act around your peers. So you gotta have that mindset to be a dominant and be a leader around your friends. Don't be no follower. So. All right, let's get it. <laughs> when, uh, when I was talking to my dad, he was like, you really got to want it. Like, and then I realized like, there's guys in the league that are, that's working damn near as hard as you, harder, like way harder than you. If you, if you think you're working hard, like it's a hundred people, thousands, thousands, millions of people working just as hard. So I always took down the stone. I, I, didn't, I tried to never go a day without getting something in. Cause I don't, I don't ever want somebody to think they're better than me. Uh, when I started to love when I was, when we got the gym, and I just started to work out more, and I really started to just focus on it, and uh, just coming to next play every day, and especially when most of my parents got the gym, it was kind of like, it's kind of like set in stone, like and I just uh, watch my idols, you know, talk about hard work. So I came in here and and I did that. I don't, I wanted to be home to everybody. And they just built it around me just because um, they knew I was going to be great, and I am.